Hi there, this is Natasha. I am a crochet artist, tutor, and designer. You can find me on all social media platforms by the name My Creative Butterfly. I design crochet patterns from beginner till advanced levels, and I also take online and offline crochet classes. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and if you like what you learn today, don't forget to like and subscribe. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to crochet this pretty and vibrant and colorful flower heart wreath. It is made out of 100% cotton thread and I've just used aluminium wire so it is sustainable, eco-friendly and you can make it very easily at your home within no time. It just has three main crocheted elements, the large flowers, the inner flower and the leaves, that's it. So it is a very easy project so let's get started. So before we begin, let me introduce you to the materials. I'm, I'm using a size 10 crochet cotton thread. So I'll be using green, this is leaf green for the leaves, the cream color for the inner flowers, the small ones, yellow, red, maroon, pink, purple, yeah, uh, blue, and orange. I am using seven different colors. I'll be making two flowers in each color and then I'm using a 2 mm crochet hook. With this you'll need a sharp pair of scissors for cutting off the threads. Uh, fabric glue if you want you can replace it with glue gun that is entirely up to you. And I'm using a 3 mm uh, coated aluminium wire. This is a soft wire that can be shaped easily. This is the wire that is used for making sculptures. This is a wire of length 24 inches. You can have a smaller or larger, longer wire depending upon the size of the wreath that you want. So here first we'll see how to crochet this large outer flower. We'll be crocheting 14 of these in 7 different colors. So let us start with it. So start the flower with a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your index finger two times like this. Now insert the hook, insert the hook under both the loops like this. Gently remove your finger and make a slip stitch to secure the ring. This is how you do a magic ring. Now that all the seven petals of the flower will be worked here. So I'll start with a chain three. Now do three double crochets in the same magic ring, oh, sorry triple crochets not double crochets. So do three triple crochets in the same magic ring, so one, two and three. Now do chain three again, one, two and three. Now a slip stitch in the same magic ring. This forms your first petal. Keep repeating this pattern till you have a total of 7 petals. So we'll again start with chain 3. So the pattern for the petal is chain 3, 3 triple crochets, chain 3 and a slip stitch. So chain 3. Now do 3 triple crochets. 1 2 and 3. Now again do 3 chains and a slip stitch in the same magic ring. Repeat this pattern till you have a total of 7 petals that will complete your larger outer flower for the wreath. Once done with all 8 petals, cut off the thread secure the end and pull on the starting tail of thread to close the magic ring before that just move the ending tail through the center to the back of the flower now push it tightly till the center uh, central hole disappears and shape the flower a little with your fingers that's it your outer flower for the wreath is ready make 14 such flowers now let us see how to do the inner flower this one the small flower for this I am using cream I have used the same cream flower to make the center of all the 14 flowers so this flower also will start with a magic ring 
for this we'll need smaller petals so we'll do a chain 2 then one double crochet again chain 2 and a slip stitch in the same magic ring this will make the first petal the inner flower is made out of five petals so just repeat this pattern five times the pattern is two chains two double crochet two chains and a slip stitch in the same magic ring repeat this five times till you have a total of five petals there we have total of five petals now pull the starting tail of thread tightly so that the center uh, gap disappears and just cut off the thread repeat the same thing for this one also we will just pass the ending tail of thread from the center to the back of the flower we will not cut it off or weave it in because that will be using for attaching the flowers to the wreath so there you are we are done with the central flower as well now the third element the crocheted element that is remaining is the leaf so let us see how to do the leaf we'll be doing two types of leaves a single one and a double one both have the same pattern i'll tell you the difference so uh, we'll start the leaf with a slip stitch now do a chain 12 we'll do a base chain of 12 Now for making the leaf, we will do a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Make a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Now a single crochet in the next chain. A half double crochet in the next one. Now in the next 6 chains, do 1 double crochet each. 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now do a half double crochet in the second last chain and in the last chain remaining do a single crochet that's it we are done with the leaf now just cut off the thread again leaving a 4 to 5 inches tail of thread remaining because we will be using that to attach it to the wreath that's it now for the double leaf repeat the same pattern just do a chain 12 again without fastening off and repeat the same thing that we did for this petal make 14 central flowers 14 multicolored flowers and make as many leaves as you desire once you are done with all the elements we will see how to assemble these inner and outer flowers and then we will see how to assemble them into a wreath so before we begin with the assembly of the flowers, let us make the base for the wreath first. So take your aluminium wire and just start shaping it into a heart shape following the video here. Fold it into a U shape and twist the ends for around 1 to 2 inches. Once done, just arrange the flowers on the hard frame to see that you have enough number of flowers. If required, you can make more and if the flowers are too many and you don't have that much space on the wreath, you can always just skip a few of the flowers and arrange the rest of the flowers on the wreath. So just check the arrangement and then we'll move forward.
now let us start assembling the flower so first we will just join the outer flower and the inner flower so for that just insert the hook through the big flower and pull the tails of the smaller flower through that's it you don't need to do anything else once we'll tie it then it will be secure so just tie both these ends together using two or three square knots tie the knots very tightly so that the flower are secure and in place and they are not loose and they do not move so like that finish off all the 14 flowers before we attach the flowers to the wreath attach a loop at the top of the heart here so that it can be used for hanging the wreath to the wall or wherever you want to place it once done with the loop then we will start attaching the flowers Now start arranging the flowers under the wreath in whichever way you want or you can follow the video here and arrange it the same way as I am doing it. Arrange the flowers first before you start attaching them. Then we will also arrange the leaves and when you are happy with the arrangement then we will start attaching it to the wreath. I am using a color pattern. I am using blue, pink, purple, yellow, maroon, orange and red and then repeating the same thing again so that no two same colors come together and also I have tried to uh, place the darker colors separately like the purple, maroon and blue are not placed together I have placed the light colors with, in between them now for attaching it to the wreath just take the two ends at the base of the flower and start tying knots repeat the same thing with all the flowers Once done with the flowers, start placing the leaves on the wreath. You will have to do trial and error and see what you like best. Just place the leaves randomly as you want uh, at random flowers, spaced 
away from each other some of the leaves will be on the inside of the wreath and some of the leaves will be on the outside you just place them you can again follow the tutorial uh, video as it is and place the leaves as i am doing or you can uh, increase the number of leaves or decrease the number of leaves or you can place all of all the leaves on the outside of the wreath or you can have all of them inside the wreath that depends entirely on your preference so before you start tying them just place them and see if you like the look of it once you are done with that then just invert the wreath again put it upside down and then again just start tying the leaves the same way as you did for the flowers before we start tying the leaves just cut off the tail of the threads that are hanging at the back of the flowers just leave about 1 cm so that the knots that we have tied they do not unravel so just cut off the threads using uh, leaving 1 cm tail repeat that for all the flowers Once you have cut off the tails of all the flowers, then just start tying the leaves the same way as you did for the flowers. Now to give it a final finishing touch just place a nice big dab of fabric glue at the back of all the flowers so that the knots are further secured and I'm just placing some small dots of glue to place the leaves uh, between the leaf and the flower so that the leaves stay in place that's it just place uh, nice dabs of fabric glue at the back of the flower and glue the leaves in place 
for all the flowers. Repeat the same thing for all 14 flowers. Once done with all 14 flowers, just leave it to dry overnight. Once it is dry, it is ready to use. You can enjoy your wreath, de decorate your own home with it or you can use it as a nice Valentine's Day gift or as a housewarming gift for anyone that you like and admire. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please take a few minutes to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.